What's up guys? So the WRX is gone and I just wanted to make a quick video. This will be like the fourth take. Uh, I'm trying to keep on specific points and I just start rambling about other things and what I may or may not do. Now the main issue here is why did I want the BMW 135 versus another like maybe an older uh, WRX or whatever. Or it could be anything. I mean, I looked at, uh, you know, I, I actually wanted the Hyundai Genesis, but I wasn't willing to get raped at the dealership um, at the price that they were charging. So I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, awesome shoes off here. And I mean, to be honest with you, if I had to go on handling a loan, it, was, it would be the, the Hyundai Genesis. Uh, I got my classic. Best shoes of all time. So if I had to compare the Hyundai to the Beamer, I would go, I'd actually probably go Hyundai. I'll be honest, it's just, just based on the handling because it was a 2013 versus a 2009. And I don't know that if, you, if a BMW is sitting around for so long, it just loses its spring step, so to speak. Uh, that's the only complaint I have. There's nothing else, I mean, the rear tires are Continental uh, Extreme Contact DWS, which is, you know, a ultra high performance all season tire. Now, would I like to have the Extreme Contact Sport, of course, but I'm putting those on the front. So, it's a staggered setup, 215 in the front, 245 in the back. So, you get a lot of grip, let's just put it that way, but you need it, because they still, it still spins, trust me. Especially if it's wet, and I haven't driven it in the wet, and yeesh. I did have the traction control on, fully on, and I was trying to get a little squirrely with it on purpose with a friend in the car. It just it comes to a, almost like a dead stop, guys. Um, I was going like this, I gave it gas, and it just went eh, and it was like, no. So it really does work. It works well, that uh, dynamic traction control, however you want to call it. It says DTC. It felt like it cut power, and, but it, it cut power quick. Like, so it was very strange. Okay, so let's go over the quick, quick things I like and that I don't like about the car. I like the engine. I fully enjoy the power. The power is just instant. You wanna go, you go. You don't even need to floor it. There's, there's no need. You 50%, you're blowing by people like, like no problem. Unless you're gonna be facing, you know, some Mustang that's got, you know, 450 horsepower or something. But he, most likely he'll lose traction and you won't. You might even get him a little bit. It, the power delivery is different. So, and if I did a few mods to this car, it would be an, it would be absolutely scary. Let's just put it that way. I've looked into it. Like for 1500 bucks, if you did all the labor yourself or you had a buddy, well, I wish to God I had a buddy um, that was like mechanically inclined enough to do all the mods. Like 1500 hours, think about that guy. That is a bargain. Then you gotta get it tuned, make sure you know you don't throw any check engine light codes, because you don't wanna be throwing check engine light codes in any car, let alone a BMW. So it gets tricky. So now the only thing I don't like as of right now is the suspension. I think that being a 2009, it's old and it does not handle where it should. Now I don't know from about one to a hundred percent being hundred percent new. I don't know, I really don't know where it is. It's, it's too hard to tell. It was um, a North Carolina garage kept car, so I don't think they even took it out on winners. I looked underneath, it doesn't look all crazy and rusted or anything like that. Um, and I know for a fact it was garage kept uh, because it, the paint is just too good uh, the headlights aren't faded or anything. And then they moved to Florida and then basically got rid of it. So, you know, I don't know why they got rid of it, but maybe they just wanted to get in, into a new, something newer or whatever. I, I actually didn't even ask them what they traded in for. I should have. Um, but they traded in a classic cars of Palm Beach and some of some, they have some really nice cars at classic cars of Palm Beach. They even have like a 650, I think only for like 20,000. But then you're looking at like the repair bills of a 650 is absolutely insane. So, you know, be just be prepared. So, 
once I figure out what I'm gonna do about the suspension, then I'm gonna sort of go from there and hopefully like, just I'm, I'm just one of those kind of guys that like, I want the car to ride how it should. And it, it seems to drive like it should, straight line wise. It seems to really wanna get up and go more so than even my WRX. This thing has power and it has a lot of reserve power. Everyone knows that BMW basically rates the car way higher than it should. If they, if they say, hey, the car is 300 horsepower, they mean it's pretty close to 300 horsepower to the wheels. Unlike every other manufacturer, I've seen EcoBoost Mustangs hit only like 240 on the dyno. Where, and like, it's rated at 300 horsepower, 310, and they were hitting 240 on the dyno. Not, not this car, not, no, no, not even close. This feels way faster than the EcoBoost Mustang uh, stock. Now, if you do a bunch of mods to the EcoBoost Mustang, who knows, but it's still a four cylinder engine and it's a single turbo. This is a twin turbo, inline six. I feel like no matter what, you're gonna have the edge somewhere. I don't know if it's just torque or whatever, but I just feel like you're gonna have the edge against EcoBoost Mustangs. And if I really wanted the apps to go crazy, I could probably beat five O's, honestly. It's just because of the weight of the car. It's such a small car that it just will get up and rip if you really want it to rip. Um, but don't quote me on that. I'm sure I could beat the older V8s, no problem. Um, now you could get some intakes, you know, stuff like that, charge pipes. People said that charge pipes are actually very important because these stock charge pipes will blow if you try to go put too much power into the engine. And they're not expensive. So if, if, if you can get someone to do the work for cheap or, or who knows, just do a bunch of work at once so it's not in, you know, insane. Um, and there's, there's a chip you can put on the car that instantly gives it like 30, 30 wheel horsepower without uh, giving the engine any trouble because they underrate the power. Like this is a twin, I mean think, think about it, a twin turbo. Inline six, uh, they probably, it's probably a low PSI because each turbo is probably giving you varying degree. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not actually even sure, but there's no way they're giving you like what the WRX gives you, which is like 20 PSI. There's no way. Each one's probably maybe 12, is, I'm, I'm guessing. And then they boost that by about four, so then maybe you're running like 16 on each side. Um, max, that's if you just hammer it, but they just say that you can definitely feel the, the difference. So what I'm gonna, here's, I'm just gonna wrap this video up by saying this is what I'm gonna do right now. I ordered a Burke Racing Exhaust, so I'm um, getting rid of that ugly ass muffler on the back, and I'm gonna be getting, it's basically an exhaust delete like I did with the WRX at first, except I'm not gonna, revert again and get it down by remove all the cats and do like no this is it this is it i learned my lesson this is all i'm doing to the exhaust and it's going to sound how it's going to sound and then i'm going to work on uh, and then i got then i got the continental extreme contact sports for the front i'm going to i'm going to put those on either tomorrow depending on when when the truck arrives when the truck arrives either tomorrow or the next day and then i'm going to then i'm going to feel out how it handles and I still think it's gonna to be too soft. I could just tell when I'm going over the bumps um, in my apartment complex, it drives much softer over them compared to my WRX. I mean, my WRX is like boom, boom, you know? And then in this car, it's like, just, you just go boom, boom. And you, 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 it's like, that's okay if, if I was driving a Lincoln or something, but I'm driving a little sports car. Like you think it should be solid and it's not. So either the shocks are just worn or the springs are worn. Something is worn. I just don't know what it is yet. It's just too soft of a ride. I just hope that that's not how it's supposed to ride. Um, I would be a little disappointed if that's how it's supposed to ride. I'm almost positive it's not. I've driven um, brand new 335s back in the day, probably even 2003, 2002, and they handled like they were on rails. So there's no way that this is how it should handle. I just don't know what I need to replace. Do I need, just need to replace all the shocks? No problem, because that's very little work. 
um, and it's cheap. I can get uh, shocks as, as little as even like $67 a piece, like KYB, which is just like an OEM replacement, but that's fine. Um, I just don't know, do I want that or do I want a full coil, coil over setup and they just drop those smack dad in and then I have adjustments, but do I need all that? I, I don't know, I just don't know. Is that, that, is that a waste of money? It, it just really depends. I just want it to ride like it w did out of the factory and hopefully I don't need to replace bushings because then that starts getting expensive. Although I don't hear any creaks or, or bump, you know, bump noises when I hit stuff like, I don't, cr I don't hear creaks over these bumps. It just feels like the car is too soft. So that's where I am right now with this Beamer. So obviously I'm keeping the Continental uh, Extreme Contact DWS on the rears, which is the ultra high performance uh, seasonal tire. They'll never see snow, but you know, it is what it is. It's still probably good for the rain. Um, and then the better front tires will be the extreme contact. So I'll have better steering once these are on. And then we're just gonna work on that. Um, and then we'll see what happens. But everything works in the car, um, except I did have to order a, uh, a washer fluid uh, cover for the headlights because those pop up and are supposed to spray the thing but that's broke um, but I knew that right from when I test drove it like I just knew that it was broke like obviously it's a stupid thing on the car it doesn't even need to be there I don't care that it's broke it can stay broke whatever it doesn't matter I'm not gonna have it fixed for you know $250 like I don't know what's wrong if it's a hydraulic pump or if it's wiring or whatever just something is fried or whatever. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to fix it. I don't care. Um, it, it's stupid. I don't need to spray my headlights. It's dumb. So I'd rather just get the piece and let it sit there and be perfectly fine. I don't know how it actually locks into place. I look down there. It seems like if you can't get the if you can't get the device to come upwards, I don't know how you're going to be able to set it in place. So I do have some things that. They said they're gonna paint it for me for free. Uh, classic cars of Palm Beach. They're gonna paint it, match it, match the color, and then they'll, you know, let it dry, and then they'll stick it on there. And hopefully that'll be good. Uh, they did say they won't do the exhaust um, because they don't do any aftermarket parts, which is fine. There's places around here that'll totally do it. Um, but I will try to do it myself with a friend if possible. So I'll try to either go to his uh, dad's garage, we'll lift it. And I'll tell him, like, you know, I really need to look at this car. If we, you know, need to look, do the, um, look at the suspension parts. And maybe his stepdad can give me some advice. I'm sorry about that. But that's that. That's the update. It's it, it's literally lightning in a bottle. This the, this car is very very quick. Um, way ahead of its time, engine wise. As long as nothing goes wrong. It did have that high fuel pressure pump failure issue recall thing. But I think that in this particular car, I found there's no recalls on it, so I think that it was taken care of already. It was taken care of as far as they issued a TSB for it around 2010, so I'm sure these owners took care of it, even though it doesn't really say they did in the Carfax, I'm sure they did because if that was to come up, then I'd just go straight to BMW and say, hey, this car's only got 45,000 miles on it, take care of this TSP in it. And it's not a 10 year old car yet, it almost is. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Till next time guys, peace out.